Blue Force is a Finnish company that is specialized in cryogenic measurement systems. These are systems that can take you down to temperatures a few thousands above absolute zero in temperature. So in Blue Force, the core technology is the cryogenics, but our users are using these cryogenics to cool down and measure their samples. And especially in quantum technology, this is a very important aspect of the measurements that are done. The way Blue Force is focusing in this field is to create a scaled up solution for their systems. And one step we took was to start focusing on how to make this measurement infrastructure easier and more qualified for cryogenics. We call this concept side loading. And Blue Force created a, a wiring system that we call the high density wiring that can support the experiments that are required in quantum technology in the next few years. Filtering in quantum computing experiments is very important. And what we want to do is to block high energy electromagnetic noise that can disturb the sample while still allowing signals to pass through without a lot of distortion. And so our approach has been to develop what we call an infrared or IR filter, which absorbs and dissipates this noise while still enabling the user to measure qubits in lower frequency bands. A lot of the test and measurement tools for microwaves that we take for granted for use at room temperature simply do not exist at low temperatures. And in some cases, we've had to fill this gap ourselves. And so one recent notable example is the cryogenic variable temperature noise source. And what this does is that it adds a controlled amount of noise uh, to one of the input lines, and then we can study how a device at millikelvin temperatures responds to this noise. And so this is a very old technique but it takes on new importance in quantum technology where we need to quantify added noise from parametric amplifiers that are simply required for quantum measurements in the microwave part of the spectrum. The Blue Force Cryogenic Wafer Prober is a tool to test and characterize full 300 mm wafers at cryogenic temperatures. High throughput of the cryogenic wafer proper will help to speed the development of cryogenic and quantum devices in general. Blue Force cryogenic wafer prober usage has been experienced as very easy. The, the nice thing is when you do a sample measurement traditionally, there's quite a lot of offset work and time invested in preparing the sample for the measurement and then it might turn out that it's not a very good sample anyway, so it's not very rewarding. In the Blue Force Cryogenic Wafer Prober, when one site is not working properly, you actually in a few minutes go to the next one and continue the measurement. So in this sense, you get the speed up and a feel that you're not limited by what you have done. You actually expand on your measurement as you go. Currently, the Cryogenic Wafer Prober is an R&D tool, but of course the future for this product is to make it more mature and make it more robust in a more application industrial environment. The Blue Force cryostats are extremely durable. We got our first cryostat like nine years ago and it's still working almost like it worked nine years ago. In the future, I can see at least the larger cryostats are going to be built, which is great because uh, larger quantum processors can be then operated. And also, maybe we can run many, many experiments in the same cryostat, either parallel or in series. Quantum technology has a big future and it's only in its infancy at the moment. Currently, Blue Force is working hard to make sure that the technology we produce support the growth of this field. And we are focusing specifically in, in our measurement infrastructure at Cryogenics to make sure that that is ready and works when the customer really needs to go to the next step. So there's a big promise for quantum technology in the future.